So, the sustainable fish we're going to be dealing with right now is these beautiful Cornish ring netted sardines. I think they're going to smoke up really nicely and we'll serve them up on toast. Now the scales on a sardine come off really easily. You can literally just rub your fingers up the fish and the scales all come off. With these chaps, these fresh chaps, we need to try and take out as many of the bones as possible. And then all we're going to do is just open this fish up. It won't be a neat thing, never is with a sardine. Just going to open the fish up a little bit and pull out some of the guts. Get all of that nasty innards out. So they're all nice and clean now. We're just going to show you how to butterfly them, which is a way of removing all of the bones without using a knife. All you have to do is take your fish, just gently pushing along the back, and all you're doing is pushing the bones out of the flesh and sort of flatten the fish down like that nicely. Turn it over and then just separate the head from the fillets using your fingers like that and then you can just pull the bones out of the fish and you're left with something that looks like a little bit of a mess but is actually some nice 95% bone free sardine meat. I'm just going to cure them before we hot smoke them and we do that with a little bit of salt. So on a clean board I'm going to sprinkle some salt. I'm going to lay my sardine butterflies down. And I'm going to salt them some more. Now if that looks like a lot of salt, that's because it is. But don't worry, we're not going to eat all of that salt. We're just going to cure the fish with it. The salt's going to draw some of the moisture out of the fish and toughen it up a bit, ready for smoking. But before we smoke it, we're going to rinse that off in some cold water and pat it dry. All it needs now is a little bit of pepper. So those sardines are going to need about five or six minutes to cure and that's a perfect amount of time to make a quick dressing. Now this dressing is really simple because we've got nice hot smoky fish. We're just going to start with a little bit of red onion. Chop that onion as finely as you can be bothered. Now, I kind of don't want to worry too much about the stem, so I'll get rid of some of it, but I've left quite a bit on there. And the reason for that is, I'm going to chop it quite finely, and it's going to be another flavour as well as the leaf. But the flavour's really nice. And then as we move up into the leaf of the parsley, I'm just going to chop more roughly, so that we've got bigger, bolder bits of parsley. All I've got to do is chuck that in a bowl, Lemon juice, olive oil, dressing's ready. Make sure you catch any pips that are coming out. Generous amount of good quality olive oil in there. So that's really nice, fresh, punchy, almost a sort of parsley salsa. And that's gonna add a layer of freshness to this sort of rich, smoky dish. Speaking of the fish, we just need to wash off that cure before it gets too salty. So I'm literally going to pick up my fillets, drop them into the water. So just rinsing off the excess cure here. We don't want to leave the fish in the water for too long or it will start to reabsorb that moisture. And these fillets are nice, they've firmed up a little bit from that cure, ready to go into the hot smoker. Just give them a little pat dry so that they smoke nice and evenly. So this is my hot smoker and this one's purpose built. But if you want to use an old biscuit tin or even a tray and cover it with a tin foil lid, that'll work fine. But whatever you do, it's probably a good idea to do it outside rather than in the house. So here's some really nice wood shavings. We've got these from a local joiner shop. The only thing you've got to do is be really careful that they're not treated with anything. So we're going to just chuck those into the hot smoker. Always a good idea to put in more than you need. So put in plenty. Fish goes in, sits on this little rack, lid goes on, and you can just pop a little pan on top of the lid to keep the lid down. They're going to take five minutes, six at the most. Right, the toast's ready. I reckon my beautiful hot smoked sardines should be just about done. Let's have a little look. Look at those. Wow, they look really good and they smell fantastic. So all we've got to do now is plate it up, bit of toast on the plate. You can pull that little 
fitting out of the top, really get as many of the bones out of it as possible. Just get that one. So all we're gonna do is just put some of this really nice, almost parsley salsa onto this dish. And I think just not too much faffing around. Just gonna put it on there. A little bit of those juices over the top. A little bit round the edge, make it look pretty. I think that looks absolutely amazing and I know it's gonna taste fantastic.